stress reducer for me. Yes. Yeah, yeah, like I, I still like it because it's it's right. positive for me. Yeah, so it's right. so interesting. And calming, and I get calmed down from it. And you're like, yes, oh. yeah. Um, so so it's interesting, and I think the two things that I I see more than anything else that we can kind of address is. Uh, one is a physical thing and a lot of people are afraid. They become afraid of intimacy and sex because the, those physiological responses, rapid heart rate, heavy breathing, perspiration, the whole nine yards, they mimic the same feelings of a panic attack or an anxiety mm -hmm. spike. And so they have learned to associate those bad feelings with bad things and they mm -hmm. want to avoid them and uh, it really kind of triggers them. So yeah. a, a tough one to deal with, I think. You know, we can kind of take that one and then we'll move on to that whole connection thing later. But um, you know, we talk a lot, that whole connection thing, that small detail, mm -hmm. right? <laughs> we, um, you know, we talk a lot on the podcast about desensitizing yourself to those symptoms using exposure techniques and interoceptive yeah. exposure and things like that. Yes. But we do run into a problem where people mm -hmm. are, they're terrified of their own heartbeat. And so therefore they really are terrified to engage with their partner because of how it feels physically before they get to the good part. Yes. And there know. is, there is a, a, a kind of emotional regulation issue in that which is to, you know, how we interpret it, right? So mm -hmm. if my heart rate starts to race and I think I'm going cuckoo or I'm having a heart attack, guess what happens to anxiety? It just escalates. Right. Whereas if I'm starting to get wound up or feeling aroused sexually and it, it's interpreted as like, yeah, you know, you're going to have a different reaction of, with your anxiety. And so it's, it's so much what we do with that arousal when the things are starting to get heightened, how yes. we it and what we do with it. Um, if it's seen as excitement or something positive or like, you know, this was what happens when I experience a big pleasure, yeah. then it's going to be a lot different than, oh my gosh, this is a scary thing that's happening in my body. Yeah. So there is a, an issue with getting comfortable with our own experiences inside of ourselves and not panic over them. And I I that's no small task. It's think, not. Right. And I think with people who have anxiety disorders, what happens is it goes so high that they start to scatter and it's just too much. Mm -hmm. In my experience, when the anxiety gets tempered down through um, usually medications or a really great um, anxiety management plan and cognitive behavioral mindfulness, dialectical behavior therapy also helps. Yeah. And it doesn't get so skyrocketed. There's it's tempered down. So it never gets to that place of where you're feeling out of control because mm -hmm. that's what people hate. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Or that, that feeling of the, those cognitive distortions that say that a, a heart a rapid heart rate must be dangerous. They've gotten yeah. into that groove that says this is a dangerous thing. So yeah. when we learn to no longer fear it, even when it happens, yeah. it becomes yeah. like, okay, now I can put it into a proper context. This is a good thing in this situation now. Exactly. Yeah. 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 And, or it's excitement or it's the energy that I need to make this thing happen. Yes feeling like it's for you and that you aren't going to be undone by it. Mm -hmm. yeah. And I think it just takes so much work. And for some people who are really struggling, these are folks who can't get in the car or can't get out of the house or can't go to work. Yeah. And they're, they're engineering an entire life to make sure that those sensations don't happen. Right. It becomes very, very difficult. So, um, yeah, because you, you know, you have to eventually tolerate more and more. Yes. Of, of more and more. Right. That's empowerment is the more we can slowly over time tolerate in our emotional experience the stronger we become and the more we habituate to that and yeah. we can do more yeah yeah that acclimation so, thing yeah so we we talk often about using exposure techniques i will admit to having a strong anti 